Good morning and welcome everyone. Today we want to talk about the Enel Green Power 2017 important results. And for that, we are joined by the Enel Green Power Head of Engineering and Construction, Umberto Magrini. So, first question. In 2017, Enel Green Power achieved 2600 megawatts of installed capacity. What are the main elements that made this important result possible? First of all, a 2.6 uh, gigawatt of additional capacity uh, in full production is uh, really a great result. Eh? Is, uh, is for us a record versus the, the achievement of the previous year of uh, 2 gigawatt. Uh, we achieved these uh, results uh, thanks uh, to, to a great team, a great uh, uh, green team made by ENC, but all the other function inside uh, Ener Green Power. And uh, so the secret to reach uh, so, so important uh, target uh, is the team. Uh, so we have uh, really a great team that uh, uh, was able also to manage a uh, project for uh, 10 gigawatt in parallel. Uh, and so we have also to remember, remember that uh, there is uh, the, the result of the year, but also the, the projects that are going parallel to achieve the result of the next year and the, uh, and, the, and the other years. We can talk about, for example, the ENC Revolution project. How is it going so far? Yes, we set up this project called the ENC Revolution eh, because uh, it's really a, a revolution from uh, the digital point of view because we we are trying to be more digital, uh, to go through a design more digital. And uh, it's uh, really innovative because uh, we are applying automation and robotics to the construction. Mm -hmm. uh, starting from PV, as you said, but also going uh, uh, through the other technologies. So uh, the, in the 2017, uh, we started to test uh, some technologies. We tested uh, the robotization and uh, the automation for the civil works was really interesting the results that we achieved and uh, we are uh, we are uh, counting on, on this uh, result uh, we are basing uh, ba our project uh, uh, new project on on uh, on this uh, on on this new technology new results that we that we achieved so in the this year will be very important to apply some of this innovation uh, and, uh, and for sure we will see uh, the real results uh, next year. In the last year, what did sustainability mean talking about engineering and construction phase? Uh, sustainability is really important for us. We must be sustainable uh, for sure during construction, but it's really important to start from the design, from the development of the project. So we understood that uh, it's really important to start from design. And we, uh, so we, we, are, we are designing in a more sustainable way, but we are also applying new technology to be sustainable during construction, uh, reducing uh, emission and uh, being sustainable during construction. So we are applying also new technology for, uh, for, for water, the to, having to, to use water on site and uh, to also to produce energy for, for, for the site itself during, during the construction phase, so using new technologies, using uh, renewables, uh, trying to reduce as much as possible the, 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 the impact. And at last, looking to the future, what are the main challenges and goals for this 2018? 2018, for sure, we want uh, to, to achieve another record. Eh? So uh, we want to, to build more than 2.5 gigawatt, for sure. And, uh, and uh, what, uh, what we want to do, we want to apply some of the innovation that we checked, uh, we tested uh, last year. Eh? And uh, we want to be able to support uh, also better and more efficient way uh, through the digitalization uh, the business development. So this is uh, uh, our target. Mm -hmm. So very important challenges, uh, but not impossible. <laughs> no, no, not impossible. No, we are trying to, 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 to build our future in a, in a more efficient and sustainable way. So Umberto Magrini, thank you for joining us. Thank you and bye-bye. And thank you everybody and see you next time.